Hey y'all, welcome to Unboxing Discovery by G. My name is Gina, Miss Callie Cat is down here at my feet. So today we have an Amazon personal shopper. You haven't seen Amazon personal shopper on my channel for a little while because there has been a bit of a delay. I guess that's the best way to say it. So they sent me most of my products for my August. I believe it was August and except for a pair of sandals and then in September they kept pushing it off and where well, your trial doesn't start until you get all eight of your products so I'm waiting and I'm waiting and I'm waiting now I've gotten another Amazon personal shopper delivered to my door and I'm still waiting on those other ones so I decided I'm just gonna go ahead and do it and I'm gonna tell them you know it's it's yeah it's late September if they're not going to come, those sandals, until late October, which is what it's projecting, I don't want them. <laughs> and why does this look funny? I don't know. Oh, my gracious. Yeah, that's what's happening in uh, the Amazon world at the moment. So, if you don't know what Amazon Personal Shopper is, it is a service that they offer to their Prime members. I love Amazon Prime. I we've had it for years and years and years before amazon was big we had amazon prime because we were always ordering something books something and we've just continued that for years and years and years um if you want to try amazon prime i do believe i have a 30-day free trial that you can go and subscribe to you get two-day free shipping there's all kinds of extra perks and things you can do with amazon i really like amazon Granted, they have one up on a few of their prices and things, but I really haven't noticed too much of a difference. So, I'm okay. I'm okay with that. Now, Personal Shopper is an added charge to your Prime. It is $4.99 a month. They send you eight products picked out by a stylist and then approved by you. You try them on at home. You see what you like, what you don't like, what you want a different size in and you send everything else back and you only pay for what you decide to keep so i think that's a great way to really get a look and see what kind of clothing what quality of clothing amazon can provide for you because some of it is not good some of it is good it just really depends on what you find so i like that they do that they also have one where you can pick your own try before you buy clothing and they, you can, I think you can get six pieces at a time. Since you're picking it yourself, there is not a fee, but they will send you those. They will send you those products out without charge and you just ship back what you don't want and you pay for what you want to keep. I do that sometimes too, but I haven't done it lately because I've been trying to cut back. Been pulling in my budget, y'all. Pulling in that budget. Hadn't been doing many hauls. I've also canceled a few boxes or paused a few boxes. It's very hard for me. It's very hard because I just love the stuff. All right, but let me let me just show you because I've got one, two, three, four, five, five bags and a box from Amazon, and it's two different, and it's it's just gonna be a mess, y'all. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a mess. Okay, we're just going to open the box that I know is the oldest, which, by the way, was delivered August 14th. Today is September 22nd, just so you know. They're telling me that these sandals are supposed to be delivered on October the 24th or the 25th. At that point, I'm not going to want sandals anymore. I'm going to want boots. I'm already starting to want to wear boots, even though it is still warm out. <laughs> You just, you know, get in that fall decor. You want to do the fall clothing. It's just a mood. It's a mood, y'all. Okay. So, here is this box. Callie's like, why'd you throw that over there? <laughs> She's just staring at it. In the box, you're going to get your little try before you buy shopper card inside it's going to have your return label that you just affix to the package you make sure you keep the clothes that go with the label make sure you keep them together because yeah it'll and it tells you it's all written down right there what's in what 
They're all individually wrapped, so I'm gonna unwrap these. I'll be right back. Okay, so I went back through my camera. I found the snapshots that I took of the note that she wrote me for August. It says, hello, hello, welcome back, friend. Inspired by your Pinterest board, I thought we could try some flare bell, bell bottoms. I'm wearing some today. That's coincidence. Uh, we have to talk about this pair of Ella Moss. Click in click in to get a closer look at the side seam trim. These jeans are a classic high-rise comfort stretch jean with a flare. They have a dark blue wash with the perfect proportions for a flattering fit. I'd style these jeans with this cold shoulder blouse and cushion air sandals. This is such a fun look. You can start rocking now into the fall. There's so much more to dig into. As always, you can try eight items for free. How did you like this new collection? Looking forward to your feedback. Cheers, Brianna. So Brianna has been styling me for a while. And I think I have these jeans in my lap. Let's look. Ella Moss Women's High Rise Flare Jeans in rents they are a size 31 they're 24 dollars and 15 cents which is a good price for denim okay i see what she's talking about now they have kind of a snake skin type line down them that that's kind of cute actually sometimes i don't love those type of things but that's actually kind of cute dark wash definitely the flare to the leg which i do enjoy i don't know what do we think about this seam it's only on the outside seam i don't know how much i'm going to love the back that is just a stray string i mean they've got that v there so but they're such a dark wash i don't know we're just gonna have to try them on and see I do love a high rise flare. Oh, I do. 89 cotton and two elastine. Machine wash, cold gentle cycle separately. Tumble dry low. They do have a button and a zip. That's kind of funky fun. I do enjoy a funky fun. Um, and not a bad price for a pair of jeans. Have y'all heard of this brand before? Ella Moss? I don't remember it. But that's not uncommon for me. To not remember something, you know? Yeah. All right, so I will put a picture over on the side of what she suggested I wear this with. Cause I don't know if I got the top. The shoes are the ones that are not gonna come to me until October and I'm just gonna cancel them. But I'm gonna show you what else was in this box. There's also this pair of Jessica Simpson. Now, I do know this brand, and I have kind of a odd relationship with this brand. I've not always loved it. But these are the lived-in vintage Tees High Rise Wide Leg in 31. Look, look at that. It's got a little charm on there. That's cute. Um, if I keep those, I'll have to remember to not toss that. I do love wide legs and I like that these are finished hems they do have distressing so this hole here is kind of large which you know is not always my favorite thing but sometimes I wear it sometimes just depends on how crazy it drives me it's because when I remember when I was in my 20s I would wear the jeans with the big holes worn out of the legs and I would you know I'm I'm very much a like right now I'm sitting Indian style in this I don't is it PC to say that anymore sitting with my legs all crossed up here and my knee, my knees would just stick out and it would drive me crazy anyway back to the jeans I like the whiskering feathering whatever you call that oh goodness I got a yawn Sorry. Um, 
piece of plastic, just random piece of plastic just fell off of these jeans. Okay. Um, yeah. So these are the Jessica Simpson's Women's Tees High Rise Wide Leg ha Hawthorne Destruction 31 regular. They're $31.80. Still not a bad price for jeans nowadays. I just don't know. I mean, most of the Jessica Simpson stuff that I've had that weird relationship with has been tops. And it seems like I've just never found one that I just really loved. So I'm curious to see how I like these jeans. They feel like a good pair of jeans. Look, earrings. They sent me earrings. I do have soft spot for earrings. These are the 1928 Jewelry Gold Tone Filigree Diamond Drop Earrings. They're $15.40. And I do like a gold dangly earring. And I like the filigree look to them. That is pretty cute. I don't know that I will keep them just because I don't know that I need them, but they are cute. Actually, I like them a lot. $19.28.com. Hmm. They are nickel free. Hmm. Cute though. And then I have this dress. I love these kind of dresses, y'all. They're so easy to wear. <laughs> Just like a t-shirt dress, kind of. Um, this is the Andres, Andrebis, Andrea, Andreabis. You can't pronounce it. I will write it down here so you can figure out if you can pronounce it. Women's dresses sleeveless split long maxi beach dress for beach with pockets it is $34.99 so do I need a beach dress no oh it doesn't have a v-neck that's one thing that I really do love a v-neck you know that but I love this color it does have pockets it is a maxi dress look at the hemline on this thing it slits all the way up here. It's got that rounded hemline to it. I'm curious to see how this is going to look on. It's an extra large. Let's see. It just feels like it'd be comfy to wear around the house, you know. It's 35 cotton, 60 polyester, and 5 spandex hand wash seam iron. Steam iron. Why did I say steam iron? Steam iron. Do not bleach. It doesn't say anything about drying it, but I probably would. So $35. With it not being a v-neck, I don't know that I'll keep it, but I like it. So let's see if I can find the rest of the closing because that was half of this order. And... Okay, so I did get the top that, that she suggested with that. I just have to find it. Please hold. Okay, so if you see more than eight items appear on the pieces that I put on the side here, it's because I'm showing you everything that she, she suggested to me, not just the things that I picked. Because I want you to see what they suggest, not just what I decide to pick. So trying to give you as much information as I can about these. Oh my goodness, these shoes are going to fall out of my lap. So this is the top that she suggested that I wear with the um, Ella Moss bell bottoms. And I mean, I wasn't blown away by it. I do love a moment, you know, but I don't always tend to reach for these kind of moments. And it is a cold shoulder. It's black, which I'd have to be careful of because of the kitties but uh, hmm. this is the yeah TFSDOD women's short sleeve sexy cold shoulder t-shirt top blouse v-neck cut out lace half sleeve loose tee shirt top <laughs> they love their names on Amazon I think they put as many words as they can in there so it will come up in the search 
So it's $22.49. Keep in mind on Amazon, prices do fluctuate pretty often and they can change from size and color for the same item. Uh, I believe extra large is, there's not a tag. So I can't really tell you if it's an extra large, but I would assume, yes, it's an extra large. It is 65 polyester, 30 cotton, and five spandex. And what did I tell you? 2249 did tell you that, but I do think the lace is cute. I'll have to see what it looks like on. It does feel a little of a stiffer kind of cotton, but interesting. We'll try it on. Here is another top. This one, ooh, I don't know that I love the feel of this one. And I did not realize, okay. Can you, all right. <laughs> it's very flowy. Um, but I don't know which is the front and the back, but look, look, look. You see what I'm talking about? Are you supposed to tie that? Maybe you're supposed to tie that. Okay, yes. As vivid floral off the shoulder shirt with women's boho floral chiffon flowy summer top tie knot ladies t-shirt extra large in blue $25.88 I do like these off the shoulder tops but this one it just feels kind of stiff it's got that rougher texture to it the rougher texture polyester kind of stuff you know what I mean I'm not sure y'all will know what I mean because half the time I don't know what I mean. <laughs> it's 95 polyester and 5 spandex. Conventional dry cleaning. Hand wash, cold iron if needed. Do not tumble dry it. I like the pattern. It's cute. It looks gorgeous on that model. Will it look gorgeous on me? I'm not sure. Because once I tie that up, it looks like it's going to be short. We'll see. We'll, we'll try it on. We'll find out. Skechers. I do like Skechers. These are the Cali from Skechers Lux Foam California Comfort. These are women's slide wedge sandals in white. $7.5. $35.98. Cents. I love Skechers. Oh, okay. Not that I need a pair of sandals. But those are pretty cute. They look so short and small. Skechers makes them very comfortable. Look at the curve to that. That is really going to cushion your foot. I love these kind of things. Oh my goodness. I may have a hard time turning these down. Look at the detail in there on each individual. That's cute. That's pretty cute. I guess I could show you the bottom and everything. <laughs> I'm like all looking at it myself. Like, ooh, shiny. <laughs> yes, I like the foamy ones. I like something I'm actually going to be able to wear and not be falling over in church and, and my feet hurting, you know. <laughs> we'll try them on. We'll see how it goes. Okay. So the other ones would have been Cushion Air Women's Roseanne Cutout Sandals Memory Foam insoled in wide width. Oh, I don't need a wide width. I'm more of a narrow now, so that's interesting. I used to request wide width before I lost the weight, but now I don't need it anymore. So I'm actually kind of glad that they're not coming because they wouldn't have fit me. So what do we think? That's what we're fixing to try on, and I'm going to make another video for September's box now that I figured out what's August's so you probably will see these pretty close to back to back maybe in the same week or actually I don't know I may do this one Saturday and then next you know the other one Tuesday or something it'll be pretty close together but I'm sorry about that it's just I got tired of tripping over these boxes in my house just sitting there for months it drives me crazy I want to open the stuff and so that's what we're gonna do Y'all comment below. Let me know what you think. I'm going to show you what I'm wearing today and then I'll try these clothes on. But I would really appreciate it if you would go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you. <laughs>
please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Subscribing to my YouTube channel is absolutely free and I do appreciate it so very much. I'd love it if you share with your friends, press the notification bell, and if you want to donate to your creator, which is me, there are two new ways to do that. There is a super thanks down below that you do through YouTube, or you can buy me a cup of coffee. There is a link below that says buy me a cup of coffee, and you click on that and you can donate to the channel. Thank you so very much. I appreciate it if you do any of those things. Now, let's try on some clothes. So here is my outfit of the day. I'm wearing this um, Calvin Klein top I got from Amazon. These are flying monkey jeans. I can't remember where I got them from. I'll write it somewhere. Most of my jewelry is from Roxbox. These are from Roxbox. This is Kendra Scott I got from Roxbox. I can't remember where I got this. I'll try to write it below in the description. Let's try on some clothes. This body, everybody. Trying to figure out where to go. So these are funky fun. I probably would need to go up a size just because they're so tight up here. I wasn't even sure it was gonna be able to get them buttoned, but that's because I think I'm gaining my way back. Yes, that's not a good thing, um, but they are funky fun. I would just need a bigger size. They're tight on my thighs. They're definitely making the fupa stick out, but they are cute. I don't dislike that. I don't know. What do y'all think? I don't I don't know that I love the top either. <sighs> of course I'd have to wear a different bra with it. I just don't I don't think I'm in love with the top. I mean I think it's cute. I appreciate the detail of it. I just don't think I'd ever reach for it. Mm. let's go to the next outfit all right so this is a little more funky fun me um yeah i would have to wear a strapless bra I just flip mine to the side i don't know how i love the uh tie on this and i don't love the material of it the shoes actually are a little loose on me a little disappointed in that if they were in a narrow I could probably pull them off, but I feel like they'd come off my feet because I have such tiny feet now for some reason. Apparently, I lost all my weight and my feet. Yeah, weird, huh? Um, I don't love that the white you can see so much of, you know, it's on the inside. So, the, this top is probably going to be a no, even though I think it's cute. Oh, my bra's sticking out over there. <laughs> the jeans, I don't hate either even though there's a string <laughs> I don't know that I'll keep them because I don't need a lot of jeans right now I've got so many um, and this is so big but it is cute with the top I'll give her that and I'm gonna scroll you down so you can look at these shoes all right I had to roll them up a little so you could actually see the shoes they are cute they're just a little roomy on me i need a narrow i don't know i guess i just need a narrow got a small foot now but they are cute and they're comfortable i think this shirt is making me hot there's so much polyester that doesn't breathe i'm getting hot <laughs> all right let's see what's next so here's the dress and i i mean i think it's perfectly fine i think it's cute uh, I may even ask my butt if she wants it because I know she likes stuff like this a lot more than I tend to do. If it was v-neck, I think it'd be perfect for me. It would be a nice run around, hang out in the house. You know, if you needed to go out, you put a cardi or a denim jacket over the top of it and go out the door with some cute little shoes. I don't have cute little shoes right now. I'll put these back on. <laughs> Just so you can see them with something it's cute it's comfortable and it's got pockets <laughs> all right we are back um I don't know what I'm gonna do y'all I do like the earrings I'm tempted to keep the earrings 
$15.40. They are a maybe. Let me know what you think. Would you like to see these again on me? This top, I don't know, it just wasn't comfortable enough for me. That's what I find with so much of this lacy kind of stuff is it irritates and, and itches at me. And the bodice of it, I don't know, I didn't find it that appealing. Plus, with it being black, I'm going to get cat hair all over it. So, I am going to send this back. How much was that? Top. $22.49. These, I don't know, I'm kind of tempted to go up a size and see what these are like in a bigger size because, I don't know, I didn't mind that. I thought it was kind of a funky, fun touch. Not that I, I don't need any more denim. That's my main thing is I really don't need any more denim. Um, $24.15. Of course, I'd have to see if going up a size would change the price. Maybe, but probably not. This also, uh, it's a no. I don't like the way it feels. I thought it was kind of cute on, but I'm just not going to keep it. I'm going to see if my bestie wants this. Um, $35. She might like it more than me because she doesn't mind that neckline. But it's a good piece. And I actually liked these a lot more than I thought I would. Um, I was tempted on these. And what were they, 30 something? $31.80. More than likely, I'm going to send them back because I just don't need more denim, but I actually kind of liked them. So y'all let me know what you think. What did you like? And should I keep the earrings or should I send everything back? Uh, since I'm trying to tighten my belt financially, I may send everything back, but if I do keep anything, it's probably going to be the earrings. But I always want to know y'all's opinions. So comment below. Let me know what you think. What should I keep? Y'all, thank you so very much for spending part of your day with me. I hope the rest of it is wonderful, and God bless. I forgot to talk about the shoes. I'm actually going to go and see if I can get these in a narrow. If I can get them in a narrow, I actually might keep these, because I thought these were cute. But I'll definitely need something thinner on my foot. But yeah, they're cute. I like them. I just have a weird foot. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I forgot about. <laughs> Back to my closing statement. <laughs>